Hi, I'm that lovely orc. Uh, thank you for joining me today. And uh, this is the video that will really make you feel like you're an island living because you will get seasickness from how quick it is going. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I swear it'll be just like another 20 seconds and will be to a normal speed. I just really wanted to uh, quickly go through this part. Um, and now I realize it's going way too quick for me to talk about what's going on. It's fine. Thank you, former editing orcish. Anyway, so I wanted to build a ha house boat, but like a restaurant renovated house boat. And you can see I wanted it to go off of a dock, which we're not going to really talk about um, quite yet because I had so many issues testing this dock and basically um, figuring out how the heck to do a second floor main level because if you don't you have to have the stilts and I wanted it to look like a floating houseboat so anyway going super fast again because I spent forever on the roof of the main boat so um, excuse this you know vomit inducing <laughs> scene uh what are we doing what are we doing okay so basically now uh, i was pretty much just going through trying to find a uh, all the structural parts of it trying to just pretty much make sure everything goes together and works um well not really works because after i finished the whole build and tested everything basically nothing worked and it took me like hours to get it working again but i swear it ends up everything ends up working fine. So um, this is the second tiny houseboat, which is where um, basically the cooks will be doing all of their cook things and making that uh, sulani pork and shrimp, whatever sulanis eat. <laughs> so um, I basically like, I feel like half of this video is pretty much me picking colors because I stink at color schemes <laughs> and this is coming from someone who actually had a college class on art and color theory and let me just tell you like I know all the technical definitions and terms but girl your girl don't know how to do it basically it's pretty much it okay um I man I am speeding through this I feel like I should have slowed it down just a little bit but hey getting back into that editing game finally figured out how everything's gonna work out so Let's go back to talking about what the heck I'm doing in this build. So uh, pretty much right now, you'll see a pretty soft color theme, but um, in the next minute or so, you'll see it get darker. Oh, there we go. Yep, darker and darker. Uh, it went from actually like a bright white beachy vibe to a uh, cabin cabin on the cabin on the ocean <laughs> I actually really like the color scheme though and then I used those lights from um, seasons those um, they look like little what are they called buoys right yeah um, so they look like little buoys and I thought that was super cute um, to add on so now I'm going through and pretty much making sure I have every uh, required item from the dine out pack so I needed a um, that chef station, uh, which I thought was like really strangely, like it only comes in stainless steel basically. So I couldn't make it all wooden and island vibey, but it ended up working out anyway after I spent five years trying to pick counter. So that's what we're going through now. <laughs> basically, um, me just picking colors. I swear I cut out literally half of this was me cutting out, um, me picking swatches because I, 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 decision making is not my strong suit, okay? Alrighty, so I am going through, I for, almost forgot a fridge somehow. Um, I actually don't know if you need a fridge to work the chef station, but eh, I decided I needed to put one in anyway. It makes more sense. And then added that cute little table that came with Island Living, which I freaking love. It comes with so many cool like paint designs on it. Like someone just literally got bored today and sketched on the kitchen counter. It's fine. <laughs> and we got a sink, adding darker tones. I realize I am afraid of bright colors, I guess. So I just, this build, you know, it's some, it's some vibrant dark colors, but I thought it turned out very beautifully for a seafood restaurant in the end. Um, and by the way, that second houseboat is not going to be that bright yellow at the end. Um, I definitely changed my mind a few times on that one. So <laughs> I don't even remember what color it was. So we'll see. I 
suppose. <laughs> so I did some slats and the open windows, of course. This is a Solani build, so it kind of has to be open and get in that fresh sea air. Um, so now I would like to welcome you to the part where I spend one eternity, as you could see, um, picking out chairs. I cut out probably about oh gosh, I'm afraid to say it, like 10, 15 minutes of just me picking chairs and like going back and forth, like, should I use this? Should I use this? Yeah. Um, well, we decided on those. I don't even know what, I think they're from Jungle Adventure, but, um, I thought they were very nice looking for a little, for a little, uh, evening seaside restaurant. Um, so now looks like I'm decorating. I have kind of a problem with getting distracted in build mode. If I see like an item that, um, I really want to use it I don't just you know some some builders take it out of the menu set it aside and be like I'm gonna use that later no no I have to find a place for it right then okay it it needs a place if I want to use it if I don't it goes away and it takes me about 10 minutes to find a place it's fine I'm not a fast builder I never claim to be one <laughs> so um, this is one of my favorite parts that I kind of whizzed through and tested with my my cute little uh, island lady, Mari. Um, I love the beachside picnic tables, benches, yeah. But with those little tents on top, I wanted to use them, but um, even when first like playing with the pack, I had no idea what they were for. I, you know, it's fine, I'm uncultured. I, I like them though, so I wanted to use them and have these nice islandy, colorful tents. And those lights, I've never seen them before. They are so flippin' cute. They're from Outdoor Retreat, and they're, like, adorable. They're little lanterns that hang from these raw sticks. Um, so now I am lighting up this place because lighting is not my strong suit in builds. I finally got more aware of the fact that my builds are dark AF when it becomes nighttime, so <laughs> I made sure to go to nighttime in this one because I figured, you know, a lot of people like to go to a nice, like, dinner out, go on a dinner date when it's night, and if you can't see anything, well, that's just kind of creepy, so <laughs> um, I spent a lot of um, effort, I guess, just trying to get the lighting okay, and I had a lot of, like, diverse uh, lighting items that came with the pack and uh, I think that one of those is base game but they're really cute and then just some light landscaping I'm not the best at landscaping but I always feel like the build feels so empty without it oh and of course the toilet um, gotta have one of those I wanted to do um, an outhouse kind of thing but um, I don't know all of the the pre-made toilet stalls kind of things like this um well I didn't want to use the Solani one because I feel like that's everywhere so uh, I basically tried to uh decorate of uh, this Brindleton Bay one <laughs> so I added just like a few little decorations I thought it turned out super well here I'm figuring out how to use those slats and oh the bottom I used this um get famous uh it's like a stone fake stone floor or whatever but i realized when testing that your sim actually cannot walk on the fake stone floor for whatever unknown reason <laughs> i guess it's just like doesn't register for our sims to be able to walk on it. i think it's from um hidden objects so i ended up having to take it out at the end but it's fine i think it turned out really cute we got the little uh um i don't want to call them buoys again it's everything just called a buoy and that's a fishing related or bobs I don't know but that's what we're gonna call it so here I am oh I oh I realized I made the okay I made the exterior orange that does stay and then I'm adding some really cute um, exterior decorations I wanted it to kind of look like it's been renovated and uh, worn down because I mean if you have any sort of building on the ocean especially in a place that apparently gets monsoons I don't know you know, stuff's going to be ripped down, and in Solani, I don't feel like it's that important to be updating all the time, and I don't think this family-owned little restaurant would, so, yeah. Oh, and I found, oh, I forgot about this, it's, um, what is it? It's like a, a vending machine for pool, <laughs> pool, no, beach items, uh, that basically, uh, yeah, I just made a little, blend in a little more with those slats, adding a bar because uh, you can't be in Solani, a Solani food place without being able to get your coconut, uh, coconut a reedy, 
coconut martini. I actually have no idea what it is, but it's a cute coconut. Oh, coconut lada, like a pina colada. I think that's what they call it. Oh, and I really, really wanted to put in this kava bar, and I thought it turned out so freaking cute. I, uh, I don't know. I just like the idea of you being able to go in and, you know, besides sitting down and having, ordering your food through dine out, you can go up to the bar and uh, get some, basically a kava from a kava buffet. And I thought that little tea uh, item was really cute because it could be like little spices that you can put in your kava drink. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was a cute little addition. I actually edited a lot of this part out too, even though it it doesn't really look like it, but <laughs> it took me forever to decide how to decorate it. And I wanted to use that little tavern, uh, oh my gosh, what even is that? Barrel drink? Whatever. I think I actually ended up getting rid of it for the one I put on the gallery, but if you want to use it, just do um, bb.showhiddenobjects, and I believe it comes in through that. Um, yeah. And then we added some cute little flowers. I loved the green and pink tropical, adding some rugs. Um, I like how the rug theme turned out. I really wanted to use a few of them from Island Living because I love all the ones that came with it. Uh, but I did, oh, wait, hold on. That is from Jungle Adventure. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> So basically, I really wanted to use the rug from Jungle Adventure, and uh, yeah, so now we're moving on to a more dining area on the on the deck, the beachside deck. Added a little ladder for people to go down in the water. I wanted to put like um, a little canoe out back or something, but I felt like it was kind of weird. Like, I'm not sure what seafood restaurant just, you know, lets you order your your seafood dish and then go jump in the canoe at the back okay well the build's done <laughs> i didn't realize it got off that quick so here's screenshots they go through pretty fast so you can pause if you want to see it it is on my gallery um that lovely orc is my origin id oh there's my little mermaid and my cute little mari uh <laughs> i got some funny shots of her failing at being at the bar and yeah um thanks for joining me today uh this is my first build in a while, first commentary in a while too, so sorry if I'm a stuttering mess and apologies for any for any seasickness. Alright, thanks. Peace out. <laughs>